So I'm up here in north central Iowa, Mark Reisinger with Pivot Bio. So these are the plants I dug from the low-lying areas and the higher points in the field. Again, this corn was planted on May 14th and it is May 31st. Uh, the top two, uh, this being synthetic nitrogen only, this being synthetic nitrogen plus pivot bio proven. These were from the low-lying wet areas. Clearly, still really, really wet out there, uh, impeding it, stressing this, but you can see the same hybrid reacting differently with pivot bio proven being uh, fed uh, through that microbial nitrogen development as opposed to synthetic alone. Uh, down below, this is higher areas in the field. Clearly, you see uh, uh, stronger seedlings. On the left, again, pivot bio proven. Look at the stem circumference or the stalk circumference, what we'll develop into development of brace roots. On the synthetic only, I'm just not seeing that same circumference early on in the seedling stage. Of course, this is probably a little bit too early to be making those claims. But again, you see some development around the growth zone in the plant. Uh, this is what you want to see, good width and durability. Clearly, uh, or at least in my opinion, I should say, we're seeing a, a, a different nutrient load being absorbed by the plant. If all other conditions in this field are the same, which they should be, these were within 20 yards of one another. So, again, synthetic, wet area, pivot bow proven in that same low-lying area. High ground, CSR 90 field, pivot bio proven versus synthetic nitrogen alone.